UConn Public Schools voted for some students to return to in-person class as early as next week, but parents were told that the board wouldn't vote for a return until October. Pre-K through three, bring those kiddos back on the 16th and then bring our seven, our fourth through 12th back on the 21st. The Yukon Public School Board voting to return to a traditional classroom setting sooner than they had originally planned. Their decision based on the educational and emotional needs of students. And she hasn't seen this friend in six months. And Jody Gaston is a caregiver for students in the summer and winter breaks. She says she sees the emotional toll the pandemic has had on students. But many parents sounding off on social media, many happy about the decision, others saying the district didn't give them much time to change schedules or adjust to the in-person instruction so quickly. The plus side to doing virtual with Yukon Public Schools right now is that, you know, they have their Yukon Public School teacher and, you know, it's kind of like still going. We reached out to the district for comment about the complaints today, but they didn't have anyone available to talk to us. Patrina Adger, KOCO 5 News. <laughs>